All right. Leonardo is with us in New Jersey. Hey, Leonardo, how are you? Hey, guys. Thank you so much for taking my call. Rachel, sure. my uh, girlfriend, Alyssa, says hi, and uh, you are her favorite. Oh, um, Alyssa's my, my favorite. Is, That's great. <laughs> so my question is, uh, from a leader standpoint, how do I start effectively communicating to my West Point peers slash classmates about investing, living debt-free, and learning about finances so they can avoid becoming a part of the 57% of military families who experience financial hardships before we graduate? Yeah. Uh, it, it's really difficult to answer questions for people that aren't asking them um, and stick your nose in other people's business. It's just very hard. Uh, the only thing you can do is um, the way you live your life, and you can talk about your experience and say, this is what I'm doing. And then that can create some conversations and some questions, but the uh, but just to start saying, well, the military has this problem and 57% of the families and, you know, the number one cause of loss of security clearance in the military is financial problems, which is true, by the way. The third largest reason for dishonorable discharge is financial irresponsibility, which is true, by the way. We work with the military all the time. Uh, it's, it's a rampant problem just under the surface, financial problems. And so, yeah, as an officer or a potential officer, you'll have the chance to influence some of the folks in your charge uh, hopefully on the area of finance. And so that's how we end up teaching in the military all the time is through people like that. But in general, regardless of military or not, it's just your group of friends, your group of peers, how do you influence them? Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, obviously being a good friend, being in people's lives, and when struggles come up in life, usually people turn, turn to their friends. So if they know that you're intentional with your money, you do something that's kind of different than everyone else. When they start to have issues, you're probably going to be the one that they come to and, and talk to. But yeah, forcing conversation or trying to force people to change who are not willing to change or don't want to change. Or weren't even asking. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, or even that too. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of pointless. I, I don't but answer I think, questions for people that don't ask them. Not anymore. But I, I, I will tell my story. That's it. I think that that's one of the most powerful things you can do because it, it, it lends itself probably to interesting questions and people are like, oh, really? Well, that's, that's why, why did you do that? How did you do that? Yeah. And it starts that conversation. And it's not a shaming thing. Like, you need to do what I did. It's just like, this is what I'm doing. Yep. Oh, and man, here's what I'm experiencing. And I used to be freaked out and now I don't have any credit cards and, I, I don't, and I've got money and it's so cool. It's a, it's a really neat experiment I'm doing. And, you know, and so uh, they may want to know more they may not want to know more at that point and, and that's where you are so hey good question thank you for joining us